Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Lauren Booth. I am a British journalist, broadcaster and human rights activist. I am blessed with two daughters called Holly and Alexandra. I was married before, that's why I have two uh, children who are now 11 and 13. I divorced from their father before Islam and alhamdulillah I've now remarried to a Muslim man. From the age of five, very, very small, I loved to pray. I loved to speak to God. I knew in my heart there was one God. Not three gods, not two in one, not all of these one. But as you grow up in the West, how do you keep that connection in your heart? And I knocked on the door and the mother opened the door like this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Fadal. She was so full of light. She was full of light. Her eyes were shining. Her skin was shining. And she opened the door as if I was going into the Taj Mahal. As if she lived in the most beautiful place in the world. And when I went into her home, what was in her home, Sheikh? Fish. Nothing. Nothing. A room like this, but empty. Only walls, floor, ceiling. And one rug, and the iftar for ten people was on the rug. And what was the iftar? One plastic plate of um, hummus, one plastic plate of uh, hubs, one plastic plate salad. So when I sat down, I said, no, 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 no. Wallahi, I tried not to eat. Sheikh, I tried not to eat that woman's food, but she kept giving me food. She said, you are our guest. And she gave me so much and she wouldn't take no. And I ate and I felt angry. I felt angry at Islam. I felt angry at a book that would tell hungry people to be hungry for 30 days. I was angry at the Quran for telling this poor woman not to drink water when always her water is dirty. So I said to the mother, why do you fast in Ramadan? Why? What is the point? And she said to me, I fast in Ramadan to remember the poor. This mother who had nothing in dunya, nothing, will never have perhaps anything in life. She was humbling her heart for other people who had less. What is this? This, this woman who knew only tribulations was emptying her stomach to thank God. For an empty stomach, what is this? And I thought at that moment, Sheikh, if this is Islam, I want to be Muslim. As if the room was heavy, you know, yeah? The feeling in the room of maybe yeah, peace. And you say the words and they're very, whoa, they're very big words to say, I testify that there is no God but God. You, you expect there to be a thunderclap, you know, really they're very heavy words. Just recognizing the enormity of knowing why you're born, why you exist, what you should be doing every day. And unfortunately, my brother-in-law, Tony Blair, has been involved with some of the most heinous criminal acts against human beings of the last century. We think of Iraq and Afghanistan. These are crimes against humanity and the people who profit from them whose businesses make money now out of Iraq are in my family. How was I supposed to react? How was I supposed to react? I'd already shunned Tony Blair. I said, Khalas, no, this is no good. On a political and human grounds, this is no good. But then I, I said my shahada and everybody said, you know, Allah tells us don't break relations, be kind. And when I read the ayah that said very clearly, no, if, you're, if your family go beyond justice, that's, that's the line. And if you are being unjust, you have to look at yourself as well. And I felt relief and I thought, right, um, I do not have to accept injustice while it's being done for whoever does it, however powerful they are and however close.